Please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance Please be seated. Good morning, Kevin Conquerors. I'm Jacob Gerstman. And I'm Miles Rufter Harrison. And you're watching Conk TV. Well, for the sports for today, Kenwood, we have JV football at Mount Si at 6 o'clock. At 4 o'clock, we have C Team here versus Mount Si. Lunch for today, we have Buffalo Chicken Bites and Season JoJo's. Today is the first day for anybody who did not reserve a parking pass to go and pick one up. And if you did reserve one but haven't paid for it yet, your spot is probably gone. Open gym is this Wednesday. Come on out, it's from 12.30 to 2.30, and then every Wednesday from 2.30 to 4.30 from then on. It'll be in the main gym. Athletes, if you want a locker in the locker room, you can talk to Ms. Daughtry. And if you're not an athlete and you just want a locker, you can head over to the attendance office. UW is going to be coming tomorrow in the library at 9.30. If you have any questions about admissions or anything else, sign up in the Career Center. Davis is on set with us today to give us a quick announcement about Interact Club. Hi everybody, I'm Davis, and I'm here to talk to you about Kentwood Interact Club. Interact Club is a service club through Rotary, and we like to do a lot of really awesome service projects where we serve the community. We also have free food at our meetings, and our first meeting is going to be tomorrow, Tuesday the 11th. Make sure you stop by, it's in Miss Stoll's room, room 829, we're going to have some free pizza. See you there. If you're looking for community service hours, Kent Multicare is hosting a summer end fun run this Saturday. For more information, check the bulletin. Today we have a guest speaker, Delaney Goodwin, from the Drama Club to tell you about the upcoming play. Auditions are on Thursday, September 13th and Friday, September 14th at 3 o'clock in the Kentwood Performing Arts Center. I highly suggest auditioning because the plays at Kentwood have been one of the best experiences of my life. The cast becomes close like a family and rehearsals and shows are just super fun. So please come and audition. I hope to see you there. Tomorrow is the anniversary of 9-11. Come to me like to recognize those affected on that day. Hello Kentwood students and staff. Today, we remember a solemn day in our history. September 11th, 2001. America had not been attacked in this manner since the Second World War, and before that, not since the War of 1812, over a hundred years ago. The terrorist network, known as Al-Qaeda, led by Osama bin Laden, planned to attack symbols of U.S. power. They planned this attack by wanting to hijack four planes. The first two planes were successful, and their attacks on the World Trade Center towers. These were symbols of U.S. economic power. The third plane was only partially successful in attacking the U.S. Pentagon, a symbol of U.S. military power. The fourth attack was heroically subverted by passengers on the plane, one of which was named Todd Beamer. He has a local high school named after him. Approximately 3,000 people died on 9-11, including civilians, police, firefighter, and emergency services. 9-11 was a reminder that the world was still a chaotic and violent place. After 9-11, the U.S. was more heavily involved in the Middle East, including the Iraq War and wars in Afghanistan. Extremist groups, such as the infamous ISIS, were able to rise to these times, which led to some of the events our own students were aware of that have happened recently. ISIS was responsible for the infamous Paris attacks and the attack of the Ariana Grande concert. Through all this suffering and bloodshed, there is one important message we must remember. We are all Americans, every race and every religion. Thank you, Kenwood. Have a nice day.